Hi. In today's video, we are going to discuss about uh, JFrog. As whenever we are working on JFrog environment, uh, whenever we have uh, registered for JFrog, it is important for us to select a package type because it is completely depends on the kind of DevOps environment. What is that are we going to use? Depends on the DevOps environment whenever we are working on the DevOps. So we have to select a package type. So based on the package type, whatever we have selected, implementation of DevOps uh, uh, teams implementation will be taken place here. So hence, in this today, first of all, we need to select the packages wherein uh, what are the packages were required, so which we can see here. Right? So these are all are available. Wherein for JFrog, I'm selecting Docker is the one which I am using, right? So uh, at the same time, uh, if you want any other uh, tools and all everything can also be used apart, apart from the uh, Docker, right? So apart from that, so for example, if you want to create any puppet, right? So these are the two things which uh, I have created, right? So these are the two things which I have created. So whenever we are creating the Docker here, here in here, you can see there is a repository of Docker, which generally was created here, right? So wherein you can see over here. So if you want to build, uh, if you want to build any project or something of that sort, generally here, you can see there is an option called connect your repository to a project build or Docker client, right? So this is where generally we call it as continue. So whenever we are whenever we are clicking on this continue part, wherein we want to click whatever the repositories we want. So for example, CI tools is what I was taken, right? So in this CI tools, assume that I have taken Jenkins into consideration because Jenkins integration is what uh, is what we wants to do existing pipeline or else hello world pipeline. I'm selecting as an hello world pipeline here wherein we need to install the uh, JFrog plugin and all everything over here, wherein you need to click on next. At the same time, you will need to create credentials over here, wherein uh, to configure JFrog and all everything. So wherein we have uh, edit a pipeline over here and just click on done. Right, so this is where and how generally the project which normally we create, especially whenever we are using on JFrog. So this is something to understand in reference to the DevOps environment. Whenever we are working on the DevOps environment or not, this JFrog can be used for, wherein multiple tools need to be integrated with DevOps. Either it can be, as I mentioned, it can be Docker container can be integrated with, or else we can create, we can connect with Puppet, or else we can connect with the, uh, uh, we can connect with the Jenkins, right? So different, different uh, uh, integrations wherein we can see, right? So here you can see, this is where generally the Docker information I can see, right? So whatever the related Docker information, everything is generally is what you have to see. At the same time, if there is any kind of artifactory building information and all, everything you can see here. This is how generally a project has to be created using JFrog which is essentially useful for the people who are working on the DevOps environment nowadays. One of the, one of the area is called JFrog, I mean to say that. So this is all about this video. And this video is majorly useful for the people who wants to make a career in DevOps environment, or as the people who are existing, working on the DevOps environment, all that, or job seekers, all these people. If you have any questions, if you have any queries in regard to that, Please reach out to the contact details, which will be posted in below to this video. Thank you.